Hello girls family, how are you? I hope you're doing great. You're welcome back to the channel. I may your friend and sister girl Kenichi welcoming you from the city of Patakot to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm welcoming you with a warm, warm hug. Welcome to the channel. So today I want to make um you know this kind of rich anti cow boo boo dress. Yes, so that's what I want to make today. A cow boo boo dress that can be worn in two different ways, as we shoulder or as off shoulder. So I want you to come along with me as I sew this beautiful dress. Okay, so here are some of the things I'm going to be needing: my pins, my fabric my tape scissors and all that stuff so here i'm just trying to arrange this fabric this fabric is very slippery i tried using my prayer book to hold this steel but it kept disturbing me so that is why i just have to go down to the floor to cut it that table was giving me so much stress so now i've just taken my marking i'm sorry that my camera cannot capture the place where i took the neck depth measurement and all that but this dress i just took five inches for the neck depth and then i took seven inches for the neck width then i took it to my i took the measurement to my hip i marked it out then i marked also my armhole from my shoulder to my armhole i took about 10 inches so marked it down to my hip and from my hip i narrowed it down to the full length so i'm just trying to cut it out right now just like i'm doing here i'm just trying to take my time because the fabric is so slippery and any mistake it will just shift so i had to also use my pins to secure it so that it will not shift so i've just cut out the place i don't need i've cut out my marking and I'm trying to trim the full length to the exact length that I want. Now, this full length is not up to um, 60. I'm still going to join fabric to the downside. So here now, I'm just trying to merge the two shoulders, the back shoulder and the front shoulder. I'm trying to join them together. So I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it together. I just want to arrange it so that I'll pin it. Then I'll take it to the sewing machine to sew it. I'm just arranging my fabric here. Joining the shoulder to the shoulder. So I'm just trying to join the two shoulders I'm trying to join both shoulders together before I will turn the neck. I've turned one side of the shoulder. I've joined one side of the shoulder rather. So I'm just going to join the other side of the shoulder. I'm going to join this side right now. I've joined the other side. So now that I'm done joining the two shoulders, I'm going to take my bias and turn the neck. I'm going to use a bias strip to turn the neck. So now that I've turned the neck, the first turning, I'm going to take it again and further fold it in. I sewed it from the right side to the wrong side. So I sewed the bias on the right side. So now I'm turning it into the wrong side so that I can fold it very well. So I'm just going to sew it down right now. So I'm done with the neck and I'm trying to gather the sleeve. That sleeve has some gathering because if you want it to be short, like you want it short, then you have to gather the sleeve. And if you want it long, you can still pull it down. So I've gathered one side of the sleeve just like so. So I'm just, I'm just going to go and gather the other side of the sleeve like you see me do. I cut excess of my round sleeve. My round sleeve is supposed to be about 10 or so, 8 inches out there. But I cut excess so that, so that I can gather it. So 
I didn't have my safety pin, so I used my needle to sew it to the elastic and then passed it through the hole, just like you see me do. So now I'm just going to sew it down from the sleeve down to the full length. I need to sew it down to the full length of the gown while taking my time to arrange it because this fabric <laughs> oh, this fabric is something else you just need to take your time and keep arranging it if not you're going to make a mistake while sewing so i'm done sewing the both sides now remember i told you that the length is not enough so i'm turning it over so that i can go and add to the length So I've, so I've added the fabric to the length. I've joined it to one side of it. <laughs> I just changed my, I just removed my shirt because I was kind of feeling hot. So right now I'm just going to add the other piece of fabric to the full dress to make it longer. Yeah, so this is me trying on the boo-boo, the cow boo-boo on myself, and I'm already loving the outcome. You can see it, that it can be one, I'm just trying to pull it back to show you that it can be one as kind of a short sleeve, if you may, and if you want it to be a long sleeve, you can pull it down to the extreme. This dress can be worn as a shoulder or with shoulder, and it's so easy to make. I also went ahead to take some professional shots of myself thank you so much for watching i appreciate your time please remember to like and subscribe to my channel god bless you i love you bye